In Iceland, já is Icelandic for yes. To me, the word means so much more than just yes. It's an ancient word that screams possibility. Iceland has always been a mythical, far-off place to me, but not anymore. So I'm here with my gear, and I picked up my new friend Ellie, and we're going to plunge into Iceland chasing the Yao. It's really cool coming so far away from home to fish, a style of fishing that you're not familiar with at all. It's just a cool way to experience new things. Surfing in the Philippines or Hawaii, it's, it's much easier. In Iceland, it can happen that you're the only one surfing on a good day. That's worth it. Fishing in Iceland for me is different. I mean, I've only been fly fishing for trout in Montana, basically. And it's just so cool to have a completely different approach to fishing. Getting in the water, you have no idea how to catch the fish, and it's a huge learning process. The reward of catching fish feels that much greater because you put a lot of time and energy into trying to figure it out. Everything that we could ever own, it's not right. It's a call to fight
Mm. You feel the anger start in your toes and just build up. I don't think anything in this whole world could get me that mad. Like I could find out that my truck started on fire while I was here in Iceland and probably shrug it off as, oh well, that sucks. Fish on! Yeah! I don't know, it looks decent. Oh, you fucking fucker! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That has to be a joke right there. Damn it. God! What just happened? So many hours of fishing with no fish. You bastard. Mm, I want to break something in half. I think it's just doubting yourself. Like, what did I, what did I do wrong there? Like, even though chances are good you did nothing wrong, it's just salmon fishing. Ah! God, dude, it drives me insane. And I think that's kind of been my mindset. So, I mean, you just have to say yow and keep fishing. Man, that was a good couple days of fishing. What's the uh, forecast looking for surf? Well, I checked it uh, yesterday evening, and there was a small swell coming in the south, but yeah, you should head out and check it. Yeah, head out in the morning, yeah. head south, and... See if the wind is good. Yeah, it gets swelled. It gets swelled. <laughs>
you know, seeing some pictures in magazines or something or a video segment, it's, it's not the, the truth. <laughs> you have to like work your ass for it. Being able to, you know, explore and find new waves, that's like going back in time, you know, 20, 30 years for the rest of the surf world. People see it, they see like pictures of perfect waves, but they don't know how hard it is to catch it because it's an island in the middle of the Atlantic. It's like where two wind systems meet and the, the wind is just totally random. It's hard to describe, it's just you get one good wave and you want more and more and more and more. Dinkos, he has been surfing the longest here in Iceland. He knows, knows his yet, you know. If you want to know where the waves are, and he like he studies the map every day, the weather and the wind. My favorite part about surfing in Iceland is adventure surfing. It's a lot of cool things wrapped all into one with uh, surfing at the top of the menu. If you want to score it, you just need to do your homework and look at it all the time, I guess. I've just been looking at the weather more than Facebook for the last 10 years, so I started to get the feel for it and just been do doing a lot of driving and scouting it out. And I mean, it's usually when you do your homework and put on the work, you get the cherry on top. So. So our friend Elliot, he's gonna head off to work. He works as a photographer, and there's no fishing or no surf in the forecast, so I'm gonna jump in the car and head on the tourist trail. So I got a text from Ingo telling me about this place to surf at called Betty's Beach and kind of sick of the tourist scene so we're gonna go check it out 
and to see what the fishing is like. I have no idea what this lady is going to be like, what the river is going to be like, but we're checking it out anyways. Um, and even if it doesn't work out, this drive-in is worth every minute. But you can't. The first settler here was Ingaldur Brunason in 900, came from Norway. And you can find it in the saga of Iceland, the settling here. The valley is kind of pointing north out to the sea and south up in the end of the valley here. And this area here, that's why people lived so far out the fjords. This valley is really good one for both farming and lays good for it was easy to go fishing. We don't got no money. We just did bunch of kids. We don't got no money. Being able to fish this water was a huge privilege. I don't think many people have fished it. It's reserved for family. You know, as far as we understood, Thor, the son, is the only one that fishes it. <laughs> That's what I hate doing in the mornings. Looks like my mom didn't find those. So we get a omelets for breakfast. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat that? <laughs> is that food? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Can I eat it? Sure, why not? This is an area where they are a lot. Yeah. Especially around that creek. Ain't it funny how the simple things in life are the only things that really matter? Your life is complicated, now your dreams are overrated. Now you're old and want to go back, but you can't. So a lot of fish this size. Yeah. Very good. I know a few good spots. Fish could be anywhere though, really. Yeah. Thor, it's his water in his backyard that his family's lived on for 16 generations. You know, watching Thor and his enthusiasm for wanting to catch a fish on a fly rod, it made me extremely happy. I saw a few here around, but they're probably upstream now. Oh, this one is straight from the ocean, I know. Oh yeah, he's, he's strong. <laughs> he is such a pretty fish. Oh my god, catching fish this big in such a little stream. Yeah. That's incredible. So you're gonna eat it? No, this one will probably go back here. Hey? Well, you're not gonna eat it? I don't think so. I like putting them back. Aww. Uh. He was shocked that I was gonna let it go. It's a pretty fish. It's a beauty. And it tastes good. Probably better if they're smaller though, huh? Nah. I gotta put this one back for karma. And he was shocked to be catching a fish with that much meat on it and putting it back in the river, but that fish wasn't my fish. It's his river, it's his fish. That fish is still in there for him to catch. Yeah, we just dip on
That's one happy fish. <laughs> One happy picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a photographer and I love shooting surfing, you know. For me to be able to shoot pro surfers, that's my favorite stuff to do. Dane, he's like the frothiest man alive. That's all I see when I look at a wave of breaking, I'm like, oh. And the most positive individual I've met, probably. This is my training grounds for Hawaii, for sure. No, it's true though. I mean, if you can make a drop with like mittens on, a seven mil wetsuit, and like basically shoes, you can do it in board shorts, no worries. So you just pour hot water and I'm treating them to a little jacuzzi session. to North Shore, Hawaii, which is like the epicenter for all of surfing ever, you know? It's like ground zero. It's exciting, you get a rush on it, but something about the solitude here, it's just like a full adventure. And to me, it, I can tap into my inner like happiness because like you feel like a Grom again, you know? Both these sports are a lifelong pursuit that you can't master. There's always going to be a new cast to learn. The waves are all different, so it's, I don't think you can really master it. It is the complete silence in your head um, and kind of forgetting about everything else and focusing on that one thing. It's about being there, you know, in the ocean or on the river fishing. How dedicated I am to fly fishing and how dedicated Ellie is to surfing creates an understanding between two people where we can meet for the first time and instantly become friends. It's just connecting on some level about having something that matters in life, like a sport or whatever. But having, having like a passion for something, you can relate to that. We were fishing on 
Laxá River, which is in Aðaldalur in the north of Iceland. And yeah, it's one of the best rivers in Iceland. The first day was perfect, like, yeah. the first evening, like, it was calm. every day of fishing, it was calm, sunshine, beautiful light, and we had the best feet. <laughs> yeah, I missed a meter long salmon. Yeah. Yep. You that missed missed a pretty big one. <sighs> what did I do wrong there? Nothing. Shit happens. That was a really big fish. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Our guide, he, he's a cool guy and a character. You know. He was good. He knew this river like, yeah, what was it? He had been working there since he was, what, 15 or 16? 16. And he had a great hat. His hat was incredible. My hat. <laughs> I've been using this hat for almost, since I started fishing. They get a little bit weak through the years, and I have had a few more of that. <laughs> He's a goofball, man. He was a perfect fit for all of us. Probably a little bit of a change for him. Yeah, it was guiding, probably refreshing for him. Like guiding us instead of. Who are going with? I don't know. Eric <laughs> not. The wind and wet. And the cold. And the cold. It was it could have been snowing almost. <laughs> I almost fell in too. I almost took you out. It was three, it was three W's. It was uh, windy, wet, and cold. And the fish won. Ah, yeah, but... So for me, I was feeling pretty depressed, I think would be the right term. Like I've, you know, been fly fishing probably about 10 to 20 times. <laughs> like that's it, that's my whole experience. So like going into one of the most expensive rivers in Iceland, one of the best ones. <laughs> yeah, that was getting in over your head. Basically, no. I thought he did awesome, because you know he said he had never 
like not didn't fish much at all. And I remember my first thought being like that he that he knows what he's doing for the most part. I mean, it was tough starting off on a two-handed rod. And he was dealing with horrible winds. And it wasn't fun for me to cast in. And he's feeling like he's in over his head already and then dealing with winds and it was impressive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked that one up. Yeah. It kind of took a, you know, a lot of motivation to like get up and want to fish again early in the morning after only a few hours of sleep. Yeah, and it was like cold. Yeah, it was cold pouring day. rain. And yeah, then you came running around the corner saying you saw a fish rise. Yeah. So that helped. And then just five mm -hmm. minutes later, you, you come yep. on. Fish on. Fish yeah. on. It's awesome. Oh, come on. My legs are shaking right now. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah! Oh! Oh! After last night, it was such a good start to the day. It was just really nice to be able to get that fish out of the way, get spirits back up and get a rod back in your hand so that you had the remainder of the morning to try and get into your first salmon since it was kind of bottom of the ninth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and then I caught one. Oh. Level up. Yeah, Stine, how should I remember, bro? Get let them fall, huh? No, fuck! And lost it like within inches from the back. Yeah, yeah you fought that for a long time. And when you lost it, I just walked away kicking the grass. So angry. <laughs> so, so not really angry, just bummed. Man! <laughs> Oh. And then just five minutes later, another one. Same spot. It was unbelievable. There's, a, it, it's an even better feeling, I think, than when you have a fish on, because <laughs> you know the stoke feel, you know that, you know how excited you are when you have a yeah. fish on, and you know exactly what that person's thinking, and you know how excited they are, and it's just, uh, it's real cool watching someone else experience that. I'm stoked with you right now. I am so fucking stoked. Just hope I land it. Me too. Is he going up? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I was here, I'll give it a little bit. Ah. Thank you, man. Yeah! Hey, Louie. Thank you, man, thank you. Thanks, I got 17. Thanks. That's fucking awesome. I feel fucking great. <laughs> I didn't think I would get another one after I lost the first one. I was happy then, but I'm super happy. <laughs> and it's beautiful fish. My no. Some of my friends are going to kill me. That's I'm going to be the most unpopular guy around. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That it's was a, a good day. That's a pretty fish too. Yeah, it was. Brand new. My first salmon. I'm super happy. And it was the biggest one of the trip. Yeah, so far. 
It's awesome. I mean, out here, it's like there's no limit. Like, you can go in the mountains, you can go in the ocean. It's just like insane. And, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm happy to sleep in my board bag for the rest of my life. Because it's fun. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's like the most simple reason for it. Because it's fun, I enjoy it. At the end of the day, no matter how many fly rods you threw into the river or how many horrible names you called the fish you just lost, it's a new experience and you gotta take from that. And I think the ultimate goal is to be 80 years old and look back at your life and say you had lots of really cool experiences. Now who's gonna pay for this hospital that I'm in right now? <laughs> Cause I can't. <laughs> I fished my whole life away, I can't afford this. <laughs> Yo! Yo, yo, yo. 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 Fucking god damn it! I thought you guys would like that. <laughs> Let's finish this and then we have to do a retake of everything. The mix bear is insane too. So it's sketchy. Say that when there's booze in here, so don't waste it throwing it at your camera when you say insulting shit like that. You son of a bitch. God, I suck at trout fishing. Hey Will, how good this mic? Does it is it picking this up? If it if it's in here, it hasn't seen a fucking hook. Because if it's seen a hook, it's dead. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. <laughs> yeah, right. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> C- centimeters wise? Uh, I, have, I have no idea. What do you think? 50 or it was like this maybe? Yeah. yeah. It was a fish. Woo! <laughs> So now you got a fish and our C's got a fish. Yeah. You know who doesn't oh, have no. a fish? Shane. <laughs> Fuck. He's gonna be pissed. 